Building a Bosun's Seat from Trampoline Cloth, William Hovey Smith, 2020. I'm an author, and I've done a number of outdoor books and also a business title, Create Your Own Job Security. In this title, I teach individual entrepreneurship, and in particular, how you can start your own job anytime, anywhere, at any age, to raise whatever kind of money you need to raise, particularly in times like this. My newest book is a novel, Father of the Grooms, Murder, Marriage, and Mafia. An American family meets their Sicilian cousins. In this book, an American family goes on a Sicilian vacation and are given an offer by their Mafia relatives that they cannot refuse. This is Hovey Smith, the Backyard Sportsman. And what I have on the kitchen table here is a piece of trampoline cloth. A couple of days ago, my sister fell in her backyard. And we had to rig up a improvised bosun's chair and a tripod to actually lift her where she, we could sit her down in a chair and she could walk back to the house. You can see my video, Sister Down, on YouTube, which shows how this bosun seat was actually constructed and used on the spot. Uh, such a thing could happen again. Uh, my sister is a large woman. She's six years older than me. And my brother-in-law is some ten years older than me. So I can foresee perhaps needing this thing again sometime. So we had to improvise and cut the trampoline cloth right there then. And I didn't have time to do careful measurements, certainly didn't have time to sew any of it up. And now we're going to make a bosun's chair out of this trampoline cloth. Now if you happen to be a firefighter or an EMT person and are sitting around with time on your hands and you see one of these being thrown out of the dumpster, grab it. This is awful useful cloth, and I'm going to show you how to work it and use it. It's nice because it has all kinds of interesting tie points all the way around the periphery of it. I did have to cut a piece for a tail to go between the legs, and there I need to sew up some more attachment points, which I'm about to do. But my first task is to roughly cut it into shape. Then we're going to take it outside and actually burn those edges so that they're sealed and sew in the new attachment points. These bound edges are pretty tough and I've gone ahead and counted up 9 rings from the edge of the cloth and so now I'll have a, a straight line cut to a corner here. So I'm going to use, this is my starting point. And then cut straight down to the corner. As smoothly as I can. This was laying out in the dirt for quite a while, and I've already washed it, but it still has dirt on it. But we'll salvage this top row of rings because we'll use it again on the tail to come between the legs. And we do the same on the opposite side here. This polymer material is unknown to me. 
it burns a little faster than nylon. It's not explosively combustible, but it burns fast enough that it could get away from you here in the house. So I don't dare try to seal these edges here on this table. Now we're going to do our sewing with fishing line. And we also have a variety of pins and needles uh, that we're going to use. We've now laid it out somewhat. And we've cut some more of the excess off. So we have an even number of attachment points. And we've also made it more symmetrical. Now with a person sitting in the seat and the legs there at the tail, we've got a little too much tail on it. So I'm going to need to trim some of that off as well before we cut. I'll show you a side view which will show that better. You can see now that the tail is obviously too long. I need to cut even allowing for some fold over at least a foot off it. I've now lit the torch and have about the lowest flame possible on it. Now when I get it out there in the brightest sunshine uh, you really won't be able to see it. This is somewhat like welding in the sense that you have to keep a uniform speed. It's irregular, but that's okay because I'm going to fold this over. Now I have the bosun seat laid out flat. Uh, I have, of course, to sew those bottom attachment points onto the tail. And I'm going to put some reinforcing cloth on those corners where the tail joins the body of the bosun seat. Now if you had a round trampoline cloth this size and all of it was sound, you can make probably three bosun seats out of that one trampoline. Rather than attempt to sew through this very thick several layers of cloth here, what I'm doing is folding this over this edge, pinning it with these safety pins, and then I'll do my sewing along through here to bind these two pieces together. We are about halfway through sewing uh, up our sheet here and what we've done is folded the fabric over onto itself. Now we have a row of stitches here along this edge about every quarter inch and then approximately every inch we have a vertical row of stitches going down here to further gather the cloth and hold it up. And this is 12 pound thread. And this is rot resistant, it's good fishing line. And so this won't deteriorate. Now how much can you lift? I don't know. Uh, I don't think we would have any problems lifting a 300 pound person with this once I get it done. I don't know if I'd quite go so far as put her on a helicopter hoist and try hoisting her up uh, 20 or 30 feet. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, within touching distance of the ground, yeah, and certainly if you're EMT or something like that, uh, yeah, you'd want to test out your stitching before you ever put anybody in it, particularly for something like a helicopter lift. There is a potential weak point in this construction, and that's right here. So what we're going to do is take some squares of cloth and reinforce it with our trampoline material and sew it over this joint right here. We're going to cut this down here so the cloth will fold under one side and then we'll cut this this way so the fabric from the trampoline will fold under the other side and that will give it another reinforcement 
and prevent this from splitting down there under load. And now we have our sides split and folded and we may proceed. I've completed our improvised bosun seat from a piece of salvage trampoline. And what we have done is we have put our attachments here, sold them into the tail. Now this actually goes between the legs. The legs sit down between here. I've reinforced this with this patch and extra cloth and sewing and stitching. Then we have our large enough wrap to seat really a very large person. So if you're in a situation where you're in a floodplain or hurricane prone area and you may have to evacuate some large people who can't move well, this might hold them. But by all means, uh, this is salvage material and who knows how long it's been out of the weeds. Uh, test it before you use it. But uh, yeah, someone can sit in this who might not be able to be extracted by hanging on by the fingernails or grabbing the skid of a helicopter. So if so, yeah, you can make something like this up. And it took me, well, most of a day to sew this and cut it and seal the edges and all this kind of stuff. But now this is Hobie Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time. I'm a former combat engineer officer and an exploration geologist who has rigged hundreds of loads for helicopter transport to bush camps in Alaska. Now, I can't take any responsibility for things like this built by others. Always use good materials and test before you use them. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 800 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. For information on my novel, screenplay, and movie project, Father of the Grooms, go to fatherofthegrooms.net. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye, and God bless.